Growing concerns tonight about California's cannabis industry, with some shops facing what they're calling an extinction event. A change in state tax law that just took effect this month requires retailers to pay instead of distributors, and hundreds of stores had trouble paying. So let's dive into this. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner is getting answers on how we got here and what could come next. The marijuana industry may be in trouble in California. Experts say a debt bubble, hundreds of millions of dollars worth, could burst. But this is a very young and very, very fickle uh, cannabis industry and ecosystem. In the past, retailers would send tax money to distributors who would then pay the state government. The only problem was sometimes certain retailers wouldn't send money at all. Now the state is asking it from them directly and the assets do not equal the debts. They were collecting that re excise tax then not paying it to the distributors. So the distributors were left with the bag. Michelle Mabagat is a pioneering lawyer in the cannabis space and says the problems are bigger than just some lost money. It's a systemic policy issue, uh, over taxation, over regulation, high compliance fees, lack of access to banking or institutional lending. An illicit market that runs parallel to the legitimate market is also a problem. Sacramento-based company Colas telling CBS 13, quote, high tax rates are putting licensed cannabis businesses at a disadvantage compared to the illicit market, which continues to thrive under the current taxation regime. But the larger issue is that of the debt bubble as values are dropping with no end in sight. What would have gone for, you know, $10 million five years ago, you're lucky if someone would just take it off your hands for free. Well, the businesses that weren't able to pay the tax now facing a 50% penalty.